think this fight is going to be closer than people think. Max Holloway's had some time to actually put on some size at 155, but like I said, Justin Gaethje, his last couple fights against Dustin Poirier and Fazeev, he looked on a whole nother level. God, we're in for a real treat. UFC 300, we are in for a treat, baby. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. In this video, I'm talking about UFC 300 BMF 155 title fight, Max Holloway. And he's bumping up to 155 versus the hard hitter, KO artist, Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, 35 years old, 5'11", coming off two fight win streak against Rafael Fazeev and Dustin Poirier with the nasty um, head kick. Max Holloway, I, I, I'm curious to know how long he knew about this UFC 300 fight at 155, but it looks like I've been seeing some shorts and some reels going around. It looks like he's had some time to put on some real size. Every time that I've been around Max Holloway, he is not a small dude. He's a solid 5'11", 32 years old, 25 and seven. Every time I've been around him, it's usually he's out of fight camp. He's looking a solid 185 easily. So he's definitely not a small lightweight. He's going to be similar size to Justin Gaethje. He's on a two fight win streak versus Chan Sung Jung and Arnold Allen. This is going to be interesting. A lot of people are like, yeah, but look what happened to Dustin Poirier. The fight with Dustin Poirier, that's a completely different fight. Anybody who, who, who does boxing and Max Holloway is a good boxer, Dustin Poirier is a good boxer. That's Southpaw Orthodox. Everything is way different. So why don't we take a peek here? at Max Holloway versus Poirier 2. This video is sponsored by Via Hemp. That's V-I-I-A. These, these guys have been around with us for a long time for a reason. They have new THCA vapes if you want. They have some of the best quality edibles. They have THCA flour that can ship discreetly to your door. Their flour is legal. They offer a crazy range of flour gummies with various blends and natural ingredients. If you're 21 and over, go to viahemp.com, use code TMS, and get 15% off, plus a free pack of their killer THC gummies. Guys, give them a try. You won't regret it. And see how the first round went. Let's take a peek here. Orthodox Southpaw. Orthodox Southpaw, it's a completely different strategy. You're looking for your backhand. You're looking to set up right hands. You're looking to set up right body kicks. It's completely different. We're at one minute of the video southpaw orthodox max holloway floating to his left looking to rip a body uh straight right body shot because the liver is right in front of you when it's southpaw orthodox and dustin poirier doing a good job stepping forward with his two and whipping that low kick um, overhand left he's getting out boxed Poirier walks into orthodox, gets cracked and wobbled. Max Holloway turns off the fence, puts him on the fence, and starts fainting and piecing him up. Look how good at Max Holloway is at punching people at the end of his end of his range. He's not crowding himself. Poirier's stalking him back here. Stalking him back. Floating to his left, floating away from the power. Poirier walks into that left hand, walks in into the orthodox stance, throws overhand right, clips Max on the chin. And now they're scrapping. They're scrapping. Dustin Poirier's putting him on the fence. And he, it, when you're exchanging with Dustin Poirier, he wants you to sit in the pocket and exchange with him. He's one of the best ever when you're sitting in the pocket, just trading blows with him. Chin tuck, shoulder high, hard to find his chin. Keeps cutting Max off here. We're 237 of the first round. Cracks him with the right hook. And they're putting the pace on. And this is five round main event. That's what I love about Dustin Poirier. He doesn't care. Five rounds, he'll come out and make it a sprint the first, first round. And Poirier's kind of piecing him up. Here's, here he is, orthodox, loading up the right hand. And Max Holloway's got one of the best chins of all time. Never been knocked out in his career. Real quick, I'm going to pause the video and go back. Max Holloway, guys, has been in the UFC since 2000, 
12. So he's been in the UFC for 12 years, 12 years of fight camps, 12 years of wars against the best people in the world. And he's still only 32 years old. Are we going to see a resurgence of Max at, at, at 155? I think it's a way healthier weight class for him. You see him at 145 and he looks close to his deathbed. Okay, here we go. We're at two minutes and one second of the main event. Poirier is kind of lighting him up here. He's walking him back, stalking him. Now Max turns southpaw. Overswings on, on his left hand. Goes back into orthodox stance here. 45. Dustin looks like he's taking a breath. Wants to slow the pace down a little bit. When you're fighting a southpaw, when you're an orthodox guy fighting a southpaw, it's a lot more tricky to find your jab. Orthodox, orthodox, it's a little easier to start fight, finding your jab. Boom, and then working off their jab. Now Max is coming back. Sitting in the pocket, though. You don't want to be in the pocket with Dustin Poirier. He's one of the best to just slug. We're at 115 here. And they're just throwing hooks till someone's falls. God, we're in for a real treat. UFC 300, we are in for a treat, baby. Southpaw, southpaw now. 55 seconds left in the first round. Max turns back to orthodox. One, two down the pipe. Pecks him in the eye a little bit. Poirier is just such a slick boxer. It's crazy how slick he is. So Max putting the pace on him a little bit. Where he likes that southpaw walking into orthodox and whipping overhand right. We get a good boxing match here. We have a good boxing match here. Whips a head kick there at the end. Okay, that's the first round. Like I said, I think this Justin Gaethje match is going to turn into a boxing match. I think it's going to turn into a boxing match, but what, uh, tons of Justin Gaethje's fights. Even when he was coming up in World Series of Fighting, he'll cover up with that high guard and crack your legs. So Max Holloway's got to be aware of that and not have too wide of a stance because two, three of Justin Gaethje's leg kicks, and you're going to be hurting. But, like I said, Justin Gaethje, his last couple fights against Dustin Poirier and Fazeev, he looked on a whole nother level. He looked like on a championship level. Trevor Whitman, been, you can see it in their videos, been working a lot with Justin on just being calm and tactical and really scrapping and letting that dog out when you need to instead of just coming out and letting that dog and just making it a scrap from the beginning and getting reckless. In those last two fights, he looked so, so sharp with his boxing. He looked on another level. I think this fight is going to be closer than people think. Max Holloway's had some time to actually put on some size at 155. Both guys are orthodox, and it's going to be a sweet, sweet boxing match. Justin Gaethje, 25-4. and four. Max Holloway, 25-7. and seven. I don't think there's any better people to fight for the BMF belt. UFC 300. I'm curious what you guys think. Max Holloway, Justin Gaethje, comment what you think, how it goes down. I'm going to get my official predictions next week. I'm curious what you guys think, guys. Comment below. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys soon. Love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>